Where's the fair use? Where is it? Where? Hey there. If you've been playing Final Fantasy XIV with a controller, more than likely you've been experiencing a problem where your controller becomes sporadically unresponsive. Where for a few seconds at a time, your controller will, your character will get stuck in whatever um, action it's current that it was doing at the time that the controller stopped responding, like walking in a certain direction or turning the uh, the camera in a certain direction. And as you might guess, in certain instances, that can cause you serious problems, especially if you're in Titan Extreme, you could walk off the cliff, or if you're in like Alexander Savage, where timing is absolutely vital, it can make you, if you're a healer, it can make you miss a heal that could make the difference between your tank surviving or your tank dying. And there are some people who stopped playing the game because of this issue. And my co-host on Q&A with Mike almost quit because of this problem. Well, there is a fix. There is a way to correct this. And let me show you how. You do this on Windows 7, 8, and 10 to resolve this issue. Let me be clear. Let me be perfectly clear. This is a band-aid. This is not a fix. The problem is not Windows. The problem, the problem specifically, is with Final Fantasy XIV. There is something wrong with the USB enumeration code for controllers in the game. And there's a feature in Windows that is tripping this code up and forcing it to check to see if it needs to switch controllers or not. So, to get to it, you would want to bring up your device manager, and you bring it up different ways based on the operating system you're in. This is the way you get to it in Windows 10. Right-click on the Start menu, and then choose Device Manager. Uh, you can get to it from System within Windows 7. You get to it uh, a different way in Windows um, in Windows 8 through the Control Panel, through the uh, standard Control Panel. And I've already done it here, but when you get into device, into device manager, go down to software devices and you will see a device here called Microsoft Device Association Root Enumerator. Now, with it enabled, you'll see a ton of other stuff on here based on what is on your home network. If you have on your home network DVR boxes, if you have smart TVs like Samsung smart TVs, you have it will show your router in here it will show um, media devices like your set-top boxes like um, most likely things like Roku's um, media enabled um, receivers all things like that it will show up in here most of the stuff you don't really need unless you're absolutely needing to use some of these for you know if you're running running a uh, Windows based system as a home theater PC and one of your pieces of software requires one of these then you won't be able to um, solve this problem on that particular machine but if you're not using any of those at all then you just right click the device and you choose disable from the menu that pops up that will solve the problem that will stop it from happening it is, as I said, this is not a fix. This is not, absolutely not a fix. Square Enix needs to take a look at the code that handles USB enumeration within their game for controllers. And they need to fix that code. They need to acknowledge that it's on their end. The reason why I say it's on their end is because this happens on multiple machines. This happens with multiple controllers. It happens with this Logitech controller, the F710 wireless controller. It happens with the Steam controller. It happens with a PS2, uh, PS2 DualShock 2 controller with a USB dongle. 
It happened with a Wii U Pro controller with a Mayflash USB wireless adapter. Yes, you can you can use a Wii U um, a Wii U Pro controller on PC with a wireless adapter, and it emulates a 360 controller. It happens with all of those, and it's it specifically game pads that it does this to. It doesn't do this to keyboard and mouse for some odd reason. Only controllers. And it doesn't matter if it is X input or direct input. It does it both. And it's something to do with that um, that software device that is tripping up that code in Final Fantasy XIV and forcing the game to, to scan for new controllers. I don't know why it's happening. It's been going on since since 2013, and it's never been fixed. And Square Enix needs to fix this, because also, it's not unique to Windows either. This affects PS3 and PS4, which both function as media devices. So there must be some kind of functionality that's similar to that, um, that device root enumerator within the operating systems of the uh, PS3 and PS4 both that is tripping up that code in the game and Square Enix needs to get on the ball and fix this I have done as much troubleshooting as I can I've I'm an IT professional I'm not new com to computers I am not a noob I know how to fix machines, I know how to troubleshoot them, and this is the l only answer I can find that tells me it's on Square Enix's end. And disabling this device fixes it, it means there's some bug in their code that is tripping this up. Because no other game is affected when that device in Device Manager is enabled. No other game is affected. So, hope that helps, and we'll see you next time.